heaven. Oh, what happened in here? It looks like a disaster area. It is. Grab an apron. Help me out. Oh, look, Rose, is it okay if I don't? Blackie uh, asked me if I could come over to the student union and watch rehearsal. All right, all right, all right, fine. Wait, go on. But are you sure? I mean, it looks pretty bad in here. It is, but I'm the only one who can make any sense out of this chaos, so just go on. I'll manage. Oh, oh, thanks, Rose. Okay. Bye. Bye. <sighs> Rodney, I wasn't expecting you today. Of course you weren't. You're not supposed to expect the health inspector. <laughs> Tell me. No way. Oh, I could strangle you? you? Strangle me, you'll never find out. Blackie, you know how important this is to me. Tell me what the band thought of my audition. No. Why? Because I told you a hundred times this thing is confidential, all right? I'll clean your room. You stay out of my room. Okay, I'll do the dishes on your next turn. Forget it. Blackie, please, what? I'll do anything you want, please. You know what I want you to do? What? I want you to shut up and stop bugging me about the van. Hon, good to see you too, fella. Oh, I hate him, I hate him, I hate him! Ah, I'm so glad I came home. What now? Never mind, you couldn't possibly even understand. Oh, I don't know. I think I have some weensy little talent for understanding, and I want to know what's bothering you. No, I'm sorry, I haven't had a chance to look at it yet. Well, basically, because I have 27 other reports. No, I'm sorry, there's no way I can I do that. At 1 o'clock, I have to meet with the friends of the museum. Urgent. Yes, I know that it's yes, very important that. to your organization, well, but it, you see... It's... I'll take a look at it tonight. <sighs> I see. Tonight, you got it, yeah. All right, right. I'll find the time. Thank you. I don't know why I decided to work at home. I thought it was gonna, I thought it was gonna help us get over all this with nothing but interruptions. Excuse yeah. me, sir, there's somebody outside here to see you both. Who is it? Oh, I don't know, he just gave me this card. Who is it? The see who it is. No. Laura, whoever it is, they'll only come back. There's still time for us to get away. No, hey, now wait. You, if we run now, we'll be running the rest of our lives. Is that what you want? At least we'll be alive. Laura, it's the Cassadines. They'll find us wherever we go. We're going to have to face this now. I know, but you don't know what they're capable of, Luke. I will not run. Well, then what? We'll just find out who it is and what they want. You stay right here. No. Whatever happens, I want us to be together. All right. All right. Here it goes. Margaret! I can't believe that Blackie didn't say something to you. Nothing. Not to me or to Rick. Are you sure you're not just saying that to me? Amy, darling, watch my lips. Blackie did not say one word to me or to Rick about how your audition for his band went. Leslie, think about it for a second. Now, really think. There must have been something he said. A word, a look, me something. Take nothing. Oh, that's bad. Why? They hated me. I bombed. They hated me. Why would you think that? Blackie won't tell me how the audition went. That means that they hated me, and he's too scared to tell me the truth. No, he could just be trying not to hurt your feelings. Then he did tell you something. No, he didn't. Then why did you just say that because to me? Because I am trying to follow your reasoning, which is obviously six miles off the track. I thought I did so well. Amy, I'm sure you did. <sighs> Leslie. Yes? I'm going to ask you something. Yes. And you have to promise me you will tell me the truth. <sighs> okay, of course. Now, you have to swear. You will tell me the truth, no matter how brutal it is, even if you think I'm going to be crushed, even if you think I am going to be devastated for the rest of my life, even if what? you think... Can I sing? Of course you can sing. I mean, sing, Leslie. Really sing. Amy, you are very talented, and you know it. 
Then why didn't they hire me? Well, maybe it wasn't your singing that put them off. What do you mean? Well, now, of course, I don't claim to be an expert here. And goodness knows I'm not exactly au courant with the latest thing that is happening. And, and I'm not exactly the person who, who is up on everything. And I haven't any what? idea. What? Maybe it was your appearance that put them off. You mean my clothes? Your clothes and your hair and your makeup. Maybe they felt that you looked a little... How can I put this? Weird. Weird? You think I looked weird? I thought it was a little extreme. Leslie, that's really the way that rock bands look. Well, maybe that's not the look that this particular band was going for. That must be it. Boy, did I blow it. I blew it. I absolutely blew it, Leslie. I ruined it. Not necessarily. What do you mean? I already wait, auditioned. Wait, wait, wait. There's no wait, way wait, that he's going to give me another wait, chance. Wait, 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 wait. I have an idea. I could call Rick. And I could ask him to stop at the student union and, and talk to Blackie. About what? About giving you another audition. Think he could get Blackie to do it? I think he better, or he's going to find it nippy sleeping in the garage. <laughs> what do I wear? Well, now, see, that's the part you have to leave to me. Because, obviously, your punk look did not work. Yeah. So we have to go in a totally different direction. Totally. Yeah, the paperwork is unbelievable. Well, that's the scourge of any administrative position. I can totally sympathize with that. I thought that being commissioner of health meant I was going to be preventing disease. However, there are a lot more things to it than that. Such as? Oh, I find myself having to deal with rat control, uh, pollution, vaccinations, knowing all the laws about restaurants and health, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Sounds like quite a handful. It is, but it does curtail disease. Are you sure you can handle all of it? Steve, you mean, am I able to be commissioner of health and take care of things here at General Hospital? Well, Rick, I am concerned somewhat, yes. I assure you that my duties as a doctor will always come first. I know, I know. I just hope you haven't taken out more than you bargained for. No, I really think when things level out, and I'm used to handling the two things at once, I'll be just fine. Dr. Weber. Hmm? You have a phone call. It's Leslie. Ah, thank you. Oh, excuse me, Sam. George, I'll be in Dan Rooney's office. Hi. This, uh, oh. refile it for me. Thank you. Sorry. Hi, honey. Hi, sweetheart. Um, I'm calling to ask you to do me a great big favor. Well, I'll try. What is... Um, would you stop, uh, on your way home at the student union and talk to Blackie? Why? Well, Amy's very upset that she may have given the wrong kind of impression, you know, when she did her audition, and she would very much like to do it again. Leslie, why doesn't Amy ask him herself? Well, you see, they had kind of a major falling out. Honey, this is so important to her. Okay, I'll take care of it. Hey, who knows? If, if this group is a great big hit, we can always say that we were the ones that brought them together. Oh, great. And that's what I have always dreamed of, a place in rock and roll history. Thank you, darling. I'll see you later. Uh, what? All in good time, Mrs. Kelly. The soup boiled over. So I see. I was busy cleaning up something else, and I didn't notice it, and I was just about to get to that And when... I interrupted you. Well, yes, in a way you did. You see, I'm only trying to explain. Mrs. Kelly, I inspect restaurants every day. I hear excuses all the time, none of which I haven't heard before. I'm sure, I'm sure. It's just that my... Your kitchen usually doesn't look like this. That's right. <laughs> That's what they all say. You see, I was just a little bit short on help today, and with... And so you were just going to leave that garbage sit there? No, 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 of course not. You see, the bag broke just before you came Are out. you aware of how quickly germs multiply in a mess like yes, this? Yes, I am, and that's exactly how and I was... And these piled-up dishes, a breeding ground for bacteria. Well, I was just about to do them. And these all... counters, covered with vegetables, uh, meat lying around unwrapped. Well, that I was just about to add to the soup. Ah, uh, I... the soup. And how long has that been sitting there? Well, I had to let it simmer. It's I just can tell just from one whiff. It's that's that close to being rancid. Now, that's not true. Food poisoning is a very nasty business, Mrs. Kelly. No one has ever gotten food poisoning in my diet. <laughs> Amazing, considering the condition of this kitchen. 
Mr. Rodney, you've been to my place before. You know my kitchen is always spotless. Nevertheless, it isn't today. One time, and I was just about Mrs. to... Mrs. Kelly, out. I'm the health inspector. My job is to ensure the health and well-being of the people of Port Charles. I can't say that can be guaranteed at Kelly's. Now, that's ridiculous. Well, look around. There are any number of health violations. Health like violations? Does that mean you're going to close me down? Well, I may have to after my superiors see this report. Mr. Rodney, that's not fair. Perhaps not. Still, I suppose I could be persuaded not to hand in my report. What does that mean? I could tear up my notes and come back tomorrow. Given a little uh, incentive. A little incentive. You mean a bribe. No, I didn't say that. No, but you implied it loud and clear. How dare you? You're making a very big mistake, Mr. Well, Scott. it won't be the first time. Now get the hell out of my place. You'll be hearing from my... I don't care! Get out! What are you doing here? Uh, well, you said I could come watch for myself. Oh, right, right. Uh, all right, um, we're in a little discussion here, a little meeting. Why don't you sit down and uh, we'll get to you in a minute. No problem. Thanks. All right, boys, where were we? We were about to hire Amy, but there's, uh, you got something against her. I don't know. I have nothing against her. Just, I think we should listen to more girls, that's all. Listen, we haven't got time. We got a gig in a week. Tommy, I mean, this is an important thing. We can't just jump into it. We're not jumping into it. I really think she proved herself. You guys don't know Amy. She could drive you crazy, man. Yeah, so can you, but you're a good drummer, so we live with it. Yeah. Well, I gotta live with her. I gotta, I gotta go to gigs with her. I gotta rehearsals. I, gotta, I can't take it, man. She's driving me nuts. Listen, if it's for the good of the band, we can live with it. Guys, she wasn't even that good. She, she just looked kind of cool. That's I disagree. Awesome. I thought she had a great voice. Well, so did that girl, Kathy. No, no. Too straight. Yeah. I think Amy's image is just what we want. Dynamite. Come on, guys. How about this, okay? We give her another audition, and then we can go on. All right, all right, but I'm doing this on a protest, boys. All right. How's the acoustics in here? My, uh, yes, I... Yeah, what do you need? Amy is very upset that she didn't make the band. Yeah, well, I, I was just about to say something about that. Yeah, like, well, uh, I know it's a lot to ask, and maybe, uh, well, I guess I understand you don't want the guys here to think you're playing favorites, right? Yeah, I had thought of that. Well, under the circumstances, though, it might be very nice if you just give her a little extra effort. Well, what do you mean? I mean, let her have another audition. Another audition? Yeah. It's definitely a lot to ask. Maybe I shouldn't, but if you're honest about it, just objective and, and let her audition again, but give her that special family consideration. I'll try to work something out with the guys. It would mean a great deal to us. All right. Well, I'm doing her as a favor to less than you, because she's part of the family and everything. No problem. You tell her to be here at 6, though, okay? Oh, okay. All right? Thanks. Your visitor, sir. Thank you, Margaret. Yanni, it's you. Laura, you know this guy? Yes, I know him, Luke. It's okay. I'm glad you are well. I was so afraid. I, I thought... I am not here, too do you any harm. Elena's days of vengeance are over. They died with Stavros. When she saw him lying in his coffin, she collapsed. She's had a complete breakdown. From what the doctors tell me, she will never recover. Doctors can make mistakes. Not this time. I saw her, Laura. She's a broken woman. She's lost everything, even her means of revenge. What about the rest of the family? It is over, I promise you. They have decided to end uh, this vendetta. If this is another trick... No, no, Luke, it's not. I know, Yanni. Thank you. I am truly sorry for all that has happened. I want to wish you a peace and contentment in your life together. Thank you, Yanni. Sorry. 
to interrupt, Mrs. Spencer, but you have a ribbon to cut at a shopping center dedication. Oh, no. Mom well, wants to stay here and celebrate. Oh, well, you go on. <laughs> we got the rest of our lives to celebrate. Then let's start tonight. Cinderella, your prince has come. Yeah, my prince, right. Fine. I thought it was pretty funny. What are you doing? Building a hydrogen bomb. What does it look like I'm doing? Well, whatever you're doing, you're going about it the hard way. The broom is a marvelous invention. You might try it sometime. Just shut up and help me. I can't. Thanks. Thanks a lot. It's just that I'm not, how shall I say, properly attired for the job. <laughs> so what else is it? <laughs> what is so funny? What happened to you? What's happened to me? Jake Meyer in a suit and a three-piece suit, no less. I have been known to wear one before, you yes, know. Yes, but only if it matches your running shoes. Very fun. I want you to know, Jake, I won't think less of you for what you've done. What have I done? Sold out. <laughs> what are you talking about? The former street lawyer who was going to change the image of the old stuffy Baldwin law firm looks like they changed you. I have not sold out. Sure. Sure. I had to make an appearance in court for a very big corporate client. When in Rome, do as the Romans do. Well, it's got to be a lot better than doing as the Kellys. Well, well, what's that? I'm making a mess of things. What, this big deal? Oh, this is just for starters. What else? Forget it. i got to clean up. I'll help. No, 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 no. You'll ruin your suit. That's what dry cleaners were invented for. You're not dressed for this. It's all right, it's all right. Three-piece suit, kitchen apron, what's the difference? It's only clothes. Clothes are very important. I, it's, it's because the first impression is the biggie. I look like a nerd. Everybody did in the 50s. Why that seems so now, I don't know, but there you are. I'm not sure about this. I think you look adorable. I don't think it's me. You'll get used to it. Les, I'm sure that this isn't the image the Blackies band is looking for. The hard punk look did not work, right? No. Well, therefore, I think your instincts as to what this band wants are not infallible. Therefore, we might as well go with mine. Les, this is really extreme. Do you want to be noticed or what? In this, I don't think I do. Are you sure it, that it was my clothes that they didn't like and not me? I thought we agreed it had to be. Well, I hope I haven't gotten all dressed up for nothing. I'm not going to get another chance. Mm -hmm. You wait and see. I don't think Fuck this up. is it. Fuck. Who's the Bobby Sox? You like yeah. it? Well, I don't know. It, uh... It reminds me of somebody I used to go with in high school. Rhonda. That's... Yeah. Wow. <clears throat> that goes back a long time. Did you talk to Blackie or what? Yeah, everything is fine. You mean the band's gonna give me another audition? Yes, but you gotta be there at 6 o'clock sharp. Oh, thank you, thank you! Oh! Thank you, thank you. I'm gonna go upstairs and practice my audition. Oh, okay. Wish me luck. Oh, yeah. Just do your best. All right. Now then, yeah. who was Rhonda? See, addendum to referendum 4B. Addendum? Addendum. Addendum to referendum 4B. Oh, wonderful. Addendum. Addendum to referendum. Sounds like a Rolling Stones lyric. This doesn't make any sense. Addendum to referendum. You, Margaret, what do you want? The uh, man called and said that the heat should be fixed by tomorrow. Oh, all right. With all these interruptions, I'm going to be very happy to get back to my office. What about my secretary? Well, she also called and said that she still has the flu and doesn't think she ought to come over here. Have you got any more good news? The um, transportation commissioner is here. No, 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 no. That's not good news. You tell her I'm busy. She says it's urgent, sir. Oh, with their her, everything is urgent. All right, let her in. Let's go. Here we go again. Come in, please. 
I know you didn't want to be interrupted at home, but this is crucial. No problem. Hi. It's the East Side Highway. I know. It's, the, it's always the East Side Highway. Something happened today, and I have to have an answer immediately. What is it? What well, happened? Well, you know that the uh, city is invoking its right of eminent domain to obtain land for the East Side Highway. Yeah, I knew that. Well, finally, after two years, long years, we're ready to go, and then this had to happen. What had to happen, Evelyn? Oh, some uh, old man showed up and made this claim. Read it. He said that he had his land uh, deeded under the old land grant. Do you realize what that means? No. Well, that means any land deeded under the old land grant doesn't fall under the jurisdiction of the city charter. So I don't know what that means. Well, that means that with, with him, we can't, we can't invoke uh, eminent domain. We can't build on his land. Oh. At, at least I think we can. Okay, well, then, then I think it's a very simple situation. We'll just build a highway around his land. Oh, that's impossible. It's, 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 smack, it's smack with my blueprints in the middle of it. I can't make any, uh, any deviation. It would cost a fortune. Oh, well, uh, uh, well, oh, well how about the courts? Oh, that would drag on forever. And the cost would go up? No, 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 no. We'd find the highway would, uh, well, it would double our cost and we, what, what, what we could afford anyway. Okay, well, I, 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 what do you want me to do? Well, that's what I'm here to ask you. Well, I don't know what it... No problem. I know somebody to call who can handle this. I mean, that's the expertise of my job here is knowing exactly who to call to handle these things. Lee Baldwin, please. Well, this is the mayor. Huh? Oh, well, if he checks in, would you tell him to call me immediately? It is urgent. Thank you. Hey, Lee is a lawyer. He'll know how to handle all this. I must have an answer by the end of the day. We could lose our funding, federal funding. I don't know. There's nothing I can do. What do you, what do you expect well, me to do? Well, there's something you can tell me. You're the mayor. Ah, I know what I'll tell you. I've got it right now. Evelyn, I'll let you know as soon as I know anything. Well, that's the best you can do. Well, I'm afraid it is right now, dear. Just go on back to your office and, and, and always know that my door is open to you for any petty annoyance that you might come across.